of people yeah. and famine is filling the hearts, the stomachs of people and the ghettos are crying yeah. and the homeless are out here yeah. in Bradenton and, and, and they're on the streets. Uh, we're not living in the utopia uh, that man uh, painted to us. Uh, all those promises he's broken. Everything man has done has failed. Right. He's not a success. Uh, man is not a success. No. He isn't a success. Uh, you can't go with him, man. You can't say look what man has done. I wish that God has to be one night getting to praise. Amen. Somebody's going to praise him. Yes. I said somebody's going to praise him. I don't like all this religious stuff and ceremony that I'm seeing going on. And I'm not going to be a part of it. I'm, I'm, I, when I see men, uh, evolving men, I draw back. And I'm not in that plan anymore. I one time was as carried away with it. I one time idolized personality, idolized figures. When I was a young man, I idolized men. I, I won't get idolized. God had to rebuke me, had to thrash me. 
I've been through beatings and, and uh, God's had to uh, get that out of me to idolize flesh, yes. my own flesh, look in the mirror and see me, see them. All of that stuff is going Amen. because the Bible said his praise he would not give to another. Right. His glory belongs to God. Right. Praise the name of the Praise Lord. God. For thine is the glory. Yes. For thine is the glory. Yes. And thine is the power. Yes. And thine is the will of God to be done. Yes. And so I tonight in this service, I, I want you to get something from it. Come out of your flesh. Get out of that shell that you're in. Get, let God break you up. Let God do, uh, do something for that flesh of yours. Your flesh stinks. My flesh stinks. All flesh stinks. I don't care how pretty you make it. I don't care how much you uh, perfume it up. Uh, put, put all the perfume on it. And in a few hours, it'll be needing more perfume. Uh, that, that's how flesh is. Uh, uh, just, uh, remember, it doesn't take long for flesh to show. It will smell all over the heavens and, and all over the earth. Uh, get out of the shell. Come out of yourself. Get the, tonight, let God break you, break you, break you. Praise the name of the Lord. Become humble before God. I, I, I wish everybody would ever down there turn loose and they'd cry like babies all over the church. Yes. Weep in Israel again. Yes. Praise our God. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Every now and then, people reach over and say, I love you. Get this ice out of the church. Get this cold feeling of religion out of here. Praise the name of the Lord. Get the fire of sunny eyes. Come down again. Let the power of the Holy Ghost be back in the church again. Praise our God. Amen. Old time, real true. Real true. Moving salvation. Make you tremble all over. Make you shake. Make you get. No, oh, I've, I've got a I've got a lot. Praise God. Bless him. Blessed be the name of the Lord. But let me tell you God is going to change the scenario. We are in the day when whether men like it or not, God is going to tear down their castles and destroy their fortresses and get rid of their gods because there is to be one God praise. There is one God. There is one Lord. There is one faith. There is one baptism. There is one Father and God of all. that we have uh, will smell before God and we want to work on it. We're, we're going to work on it. This is it. Amen. 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 We're going to work our salvation out with fear and trembling in this assembly. Praise yes. God. Amen. This, this is going to be uh, the, the way God would have it to be. And so I'm happy to uh, I, I started to go other places. I'm not. Uh, you can get off the lines of thought and you're gone. Uh, the Holy Ghost inspires you and you'll be there 30 minutes more. But uh, but I, I've got, I've got, things are just stirring in my spirit. And I, I want to, um, I don't want to waste any more time. I don't want to sit up here and you look at me and me grow older and I look at you to grow older. Move, child, move, child. Move, child. How long are you going to stay in that position? How long are you going to sit there and say, woe is me? You ought to start saying, praise God. Right. Bless God, my. Yes. Bless the Lord. Start out with praising God. Lord, right. people are total praising God. years ago was on fire with the Holy Ghost. I got it. It was on fire. I saw people uh, never even reach the door of this church uh, come here on orange crates in their uh, old jalopies they were driving and didn't even have seats. Uh, your daddy, Brother David Gill, uh, drove an old uh, a thing, I don't know what it was, it was a mixture. I don't know what all that thing was. It was part Ford and part Chevrolet and and uh, he had uh, put a drive train in of an Oldsmobile and had a, a Ford chassis and, and uh, you know, the thing, I couldn't figure out what he was driving. And when he got here, he, he, couldn't, he didn't have a seat the first time I saw him. He wasn't married to your mother then. And uh, he was a tall, lanky guy and uh, Charles Gill and, and, you know, he a doorless, we called him. And uh, he drove up out there and parked on that street. You could park on that street then, out there. You, you, they let you park on either side. 
uh, and he drove up in that thing and didn't have any doors on it, didn't have any uh, windows in the thing, uh, no windshield, had sitting there, and he was holding on that steering wheel, tall, six foot, dad was six foot four, six foot, he's six, 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 oh my lord, and here he come, and uh, they uh, got off that orange crate, and, and uh, double clutched it, and pulled in, and, and got off that orange crate, and just as happy as a lot, uh, you know, uh, but, uh, we had church in those days. Yes. We praised God in those days. We glorified God. And he got off that thing and he started shouting out in the street out there. Never got in the church, but was praising the Lord. And the Holy Ghost fell on him. Praise God. His daddy, your grandfather, was right over by him there and, and Oliver Gill. And he started shouting. And your grandmother started shouting. Uh, grandmother Gill. And they had church out in the street. Out there, I'm telling you, we may think we've progressed some, but we've lost some things. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I said you've got to go back to go forward. And I want the church to read the scriptures, study the scriptures. Come in here and let the Lord anoint you. Uh, turn this thing loose. Get it out of the boundary line. Get out in deep water. Get out where there's little sandbar. Get out where there's depth in it. Praise God. Can you praise the Lord? Don't praise it. Praise the Lord and sit out the ground. And so somebody start a forum and a ceremony. Oh my God, let the Holy Ghost roll like thunder. Praise our God. I said, let the Holy Ghost roll like thunder. Let the glory of God come in. Yes. Because, brother, when we start doing that, the cancer that's eating us up will stop eating us up. Yes. Amen. The trouble in the yes. church will cease. And jealousy will go out the window. And all the stuff that's called church will come to an end. Yes. Amen. And the deaf will hear, yeah. and the blind will see. Yeah. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Amen. Praise God. So happy to have, let me tell you right now, we've got to go, we've got to find out that God is God. I want you to say it with me. We've got to find out. We've got to find out. Come on. We've got to find out. a good God and we're here to praise him and worship him tonight yes. and you shouldn't leave here without a blessing in your soul yes. you yes. shouldn't leave here without your hands being lifted yes. you should be singing glory when you leave this place yes. glory glory yes. glory praise our God praise our God because Jesus is all right and there's a new there's a new wave coming in yes. and there's a new uh, truth happening and I said I could get strung out on that too but uh, I want to I want to just say God bless you, brethren. I'm so happy to see Brother James and Sister Margie Harris here tonight. Uh, they, they, they're not visitors. They're not strangers. No. Brother James and Sister Margie belong to this work. Yes. They will always be a part of the ministry and the order of the Bradenton Church. Yes. Uh, you can't be in a place brought in by revelation, brought in out of the Baptist. Church, so he had the Holy Ghost, but his background was Baptist, but he had the Holy Ghost, and preaching and God doing works through him, and up in Mississippi, being led by the Lord as a young man, coming from a life, he might have, might have been a, a hoodlum if God hadn't have got a hold of him. You don't know. A frame like you've got, six foot something, uh, my God, coming out of Memphis, one of the meanest cities in the United States, and you know that, uh, but, but it's true, isn't it? Uh, there, there's some mean folks uh, around. There's some mean folks around Braden too. If you're listening to them, Memphis, why I'm going to balance it out. Praise God. And, uh, there's some there's some mean folks in Braden too. And, and uh, Amen. you know, but uh, but my God, the Lord brought him here by revelation, and and stayed here 35, 36, some odd years, 37. Uh, work, working up there in Blair, Mississippi, right now. And last 10 years, finishing. That out, whatever God wants to, to do through Brother James, He will, Margie, and God will do through you. You're seeking His will. You're just like I am. You're just like Brother Bond Reynolds back here. Brother Bond Reynolds down here seeking God's will. Uh, he wants to do what God's telling you to do. He broke the mold in that. 
He said, I'm going to do something. I'm going to find out what God wants me to do. Yes. Praise our God. Yes. But you know the only way I know how to find out what God wants me to do is go seek Him. Right. The Bible said, seek the Lord yes. while He may be found. Yes. Isn't that right? Yes. Seek the Lord. Right. If you can't find Him, go seek Him. Yes. Praise right. God. Seek the Lord while He may be found. Call upon the uh, Lord while He's near. Right. Yes. And... Um, and so they're doing that. These ministers, I'm happy to see Brother Vaughn Reynolds here. And uh, Brother Vaughn, get in. Put your feet in somewhere and get in here. And uh, the rest of you elders here on the platform, ministers, uh, gifts, uh, find where that little stream is and jump in there. Praise our God. Honored to have elders in the work. It's for the cause that on my left here. And uh, appreciate the uh, elders, elder statesmen. That have been on the work uh, field a long time, but yet they're young in their heart and their spirit. Amen. And all of these saints are glad to see you. Yes. And, and uh, we're, we're thrilled to have uh, uh, from um, yes. up in um, uh, Royals. <laughs> I get it right. Uh, I want to start to say Des Moines. I'm not Des Moines any longer. Uh, but Brother David Gill, he worked there many years in Des Moines, Iowa, and served the late Lloyd Goodman and the assembly there. Uh, but he and his dear wife, Brother David Gill, is dear wife down here uh, from Royalton, Illinois, working with Brother Betts up there, my good friend in the ministry, and the Royalton <coughs> Church, one of the liveliest churches that I've ever been in in America. Uh, they worship God. They work, praise God. That place does. The glory of God comes in Royalton. Uh, they can't even, sometimes before they can start a song, uh, music starts. They're, uh, they're speaking in tongues out there praising God, praying for the sick. Uh, wonderful, wonderful assembly to be in, lift your spirits up in. And I'm happy they're here. And then right beside them is Sister Edna. God bless her heart. Uh, I, I cannot leave the name Nick out. Uh, Edna, I can't. Now that's that's what I knew you by in the beginning when the Nicks and the Gills came in this church. I'm still a Nick. And you're still a Nick. Praise God. And I believe you are because I can see the generation all over you there. Praise God. And we're thrilled to have some friends. She grew up in this world. David was born in this world. He and his mother and father were here when he was born. Uh, you were born in Bradenton, Washington, Brother David? No, you? sir, I was born in Sarasota, and we moved to uh, Bradenton a year later. Yeah, well, it's, we claim Sarasota. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Bradenton <laughs> claims Sarasota. We, we will take Sarasota in, praise God. You know, we will claim Sarasota. Uh, but we, yeah. we uh, I, I appreciate all of these folks and, and uh, being here because they've come to lift us up, come to be with us. And we want to pray for Sister uh, Noel Wade her daughter, Edna's daughter. We prayed there in the hospital. God must sustain her. Yes. It must be the hand of God. Right. It will be the greatest miracle yes. we've witnessed yes. for her to come Amen. back from where she is yes. right now yes. in her health. But God can do. Yes. I said God Amen. can do. Yes. God can do anything. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So we're going to hold down uh, Sister uh, Noel, sweet woman, in her spirit there tonight. Uh, Brother Vaughn and I prayed with her, talked to her, and the other ministers have as well on the staff of the church. And so we want to pray. And Sister Marlow uh, has been ill most of the week with the virus, and she would have come tonight, but I just stood and I said, you're not, you can't go. Uh, she said, I feel bad not going. Uh, she's a trooper. She wants to be here. Uh, her heart is here. But we want to pray for Sister Marlow that God will... Uh, give her body a touch. Yep. Uh, yes. raise her, uh, let her have strength. Uh, get her above where she is right now. Yes. Uh, she's yes. worked hard. She tomorrow has worked hard. She's worked long here. My goodness, the years that woman has worked, put in following me from pillar to post, uh, staying up late waiting for me, uh, wondering where I was at times, where I was in uh, Utah or Wyoming or Oregon or where I was, and um, then they even knowing I was in Bradenton wondering where I was. You know, uh, where is he? Is he over the east side, the west side? Uh, where is he? It's getting later. I wonder where he is. Uh, but um, we want to pray for Sister Marlow. Yes, sir. And ask the Lord to uh, be with her. And there's numbers of saints, too numerous to call out. The Bivens family, they fill all that place over there. Uh, they're out. And uh, pray for them. And... Uh, 
uh, there's some have called in and said they had colds and in a distance that, that some's leaving on vacation. Uh, Sister so Patty is tomorrow. Sister so Eva is leaving Friday. Uh, and uh, so we want to pray for all those leaving, going, coming. And uh, there's others, that, some of them are just too many of them now to run through my mind and get all of them without a list before me. Uh, but pray for anyone <coughs> sick and afflicted. Pray for <coughs> Brother uh, Matthew and I think Teresa and Sister Jenny. Who else is going with you? Uh, Matt Jr. is going to Pittsburgh this week for the convention there with Isaac Jerry's. I was uh, scheduled to go and speak there Friday night in Pittsburgh, but uh, I'm not going to be able to uh, fit the schedule, Brother uh, Matthew. Just tell them in Pittsburgh I couldn't make it. Uh, that uh, I just looked at it every way, the time he scheduled to get back here Saturday for the funeral uh, for Brother uh, Wallace's mother. And uh, there's no way I can uh, be assured that plane will get me back. And I would not. Uh, my first priority and my first duty is here. Yes. Uh, yes. I'm the shepherd of these sheep. And uh, Brother Wallace and with me, uh, 60, uh, how many years have you been? 50 some years? 56 years he's been here with me. And his mother, I've known her since she was a young woman. I buried, I stood over his father and said the last words over his father. I stood over his grandfather, said the last words over his grandfather. And so it would be a dishonor to that family for me to be away from the time now. So you all represent us good up there in, in Pittsburgh. Have a good time, Sister Teresa. Go up and rest a little bit, take a little different uh, break. You don't get those often. And get back here and tell us all about it. And come back and do this. Matthew, you do the same and uh, preach uh, vehemently and fiercely uh, and uh, have a cart like uh, J.U. Uh, J.U. drive it fiercely, the Bible said. So go and drive fiercely there in Pittsburgh and, and bless them real good. And uh, give Brother Jerry and the ministers my regards. Tell them I had duties here that I just couldn't get away from. Uh, please pray for Mom. Uh, this is Sister Shone. Uh, she never misses. She doesn't, Sister Wanda Schoen. I'm glad you're sitting right in her chair in her place, Bev. Praise God. Amen. Daughter's over here, Bev. And Wanda never misses. But she's missing tonight. Her back is killing her. Well, let's pray that God will touch Sister Wanda Schoen yes, and uh, give her help tonight. Yes, and sir. then we want to pray for Brother Shorey, Fred Shorey. He's in uh, Lakewood Ranch. And uh, uh, then... Uh, you know, Terry and Debbie have this continuing problem they seem to be dealing with physically and, and uh, uh, getting a, a complete healing. Pray for them and uh, Brother Fred, as I said. And anyone else in the assembly? Brother Mark. All right. And Sister Carol, your voice quickened my mind <laughs> to her, but then you go ahead. <clears throat> Praise God. Uh, Brother uh, Lonnie uh, Bowie. Boy. And he also is at Lakewood Ranch. And then uh, Jessica from the Prodigal Daughters had uh, some surgery this morning and asked for prayer. And we missed them tonight, the <coughs> Prodigal Daughters that's usually here uh, out of Sarasota. And that's Jessica. He used to sit right down in the front row. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, uh, Brother, I, I never could get information. How did you ever find him today, Brother Lonnie? Well, I called him at Lakewood called, uh, Ranch. I called Sister Kelly. We're in contact with her all day long today, and he, he was in his room this afternoon, and uh, he, he was resting, and uh, he's going to be there for two or three days, but it was successful. All right. Thank you, Brother Butch. May God bless all these folks that have needs among us, and we're going to pray and believe God right now. And then I, I really am sincere about it. I'll take Sister Amy in a minute. We'll receive our offering right after uh, that, but we're going to not rush through prayer. We're going to believe God. And then after that, I, I, I want God to move and work among these ministers. And you, brethren, please feel free. Uh, just let the Holy Ghost move in you, move forward, move, and do what God would have you to do. Praise, Praise God. Uh, Sister Amy. Brother Johnny Waldrop said he was going to California, leaving tomorrow. All right. Brother John is going to California. He, and then he's coming back, and he's taking another tour. Uh, so we'll, we'll pray for this 
man uh, that had an ample time for these vacations and uh, <laughs> asked God to, uh, I don't know, I never, I never did to see that many in my lifetime, but I thank God for those who do. And uh, boy, I was happy about that. Uh, you know, thank God for it. He said, rejoice with them that rejoice. Yeah. So we'll rejoice for Brother John that he's able to <coughs> take these trips. And it's a, it's a great blessing when you work with American Airlines. Yeah. Uh, that can get you to California in a hurry. Uh, so uh, then I want uh, the Russell family back here, hold up your hand, all of you back there. I believe, is, is it Brother Archie? Do I remember the name right? Yes. God bless you. Hold up your hand there, Brother. This is a minister back there. Uh, I'm from Florida, I'm and uh, I'm just glad to see you folks out on the job tonight. Praise God. And uh, so we're going to pray. Do you feel like praying with me? Yes. There's no, no form of prayr. There's no form of prayer. Uh, kneel down. Come down here. Stand where you are. Sit. A prayer is a conversation with God. Yes. But I want everybody to pray. Let's get into it right now. Amen. Either rise up, go down. Let's get into prayer right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord. We come before you right now. And we call for you. Now, in the name of Jesus, we call, we cry out. We believe the word is the word. And we believe that you're strong. And you're able to give. And you're able to do. And we believe tonight that you are God. And we know that you brought us together. And I believe the Holy Spirit is running like a river in this place tonight. I bow before Calvary. I call upon the cross. I thank God for the blood. I thank God for the blood. I thank you, Lord, for the kingdom of God and for the church of the living God. And I thank you for your people. And I pray for you that you abolish sin and the death and the cross. You said it is finished. And it was finished. At the cross it was finished. It was done. It was said. And Lord, I believe tonight that you're the God that sits above all the circle of the earth. And you behold the inhabitants. And you see where the church is. And you're going to electrify our spirit. You're going to make it whole. You're going to lose us and let us go. You're going to break every bond and every shackle. You're going to give fire again in the soul and in the altars, Lord. And I believe tonight that this is part of the church of the living God. Gathered here in great We're gathered here to worship you. We're gathered here to praise you. We're gathered here to serve you. We're gathered here to walk with you. And we believe the miracles for the sick tonight. Sister Marlo, oh God, remember her and lift her up. Oh God, what a story. And my money, oh God, voice. And, and all of these, Sister, Sister Carol Del Hagen. Oh God, Sister Sean tonight. Uh, those that are sick and afflicted. Remember, Lord, the Wallace family and the and children of Sister Nina, and give us grace in the church, Lord. Give us compassion, and give us help, and we thank you for your people. Remember, Sister Noel Wade tonight, Lord, on the miracle you can give that woman. I believe it, I believe it. In Jesus' name, I believe it. In the name of Jesus, I believe it. I believe we're two or three gathered together in your name, and ask anything, it shall be done. And I believe the church is returning to its first love. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Give him a glory praise. Then. Give him a glory praise. Oh God. Oh God. We praise you, Lord. We clap our hands for joy. We thank you, Lord, for your love. We thank you for your mercy. And we thank you for your goodness. In the name of Jesus tonight. Heal the sick. And loose those who are infirmities. Praise God. We give you praise. Amen. Amen. All right. Let's have a Sister Teresa. Praise God. Uh, praise team. Uh, music. Let's have a great uh, praise unto the Lord. You're free to go to the offering box and say, Lord, this is my offering. Here's what I sanctify and give to you. Praise our God. Amen. Amen. Amen.
I need to hear from you. Yes. I need to know what to do. I need to know some of the things that are next. I'm over there. And I don't think we do that enough. I think we just take it for granted, you know. Uh, praise God, we're, we're here. But I said, Lord, I need to hear something from you. And uh, the Lord carried me to the scripture where he talked about, uh, Paul talked about the body being knitted together. Ah, uh, yes. And I heard the voice of the Lord in my mind and my heart. And he said, the knitting's not tight enough. So I asked Margie, she does a lot of uh, crocheting, mostly in knitting. I said, Margie, uh, when, when you don't pull the stitches tight, then whatever garments you're making, whatever covering you're making, or whatever it may be, uh, then it's loose and it's sloppy. And, uh, and a hole was too big. And that kept coming to my mind. And I said, Lord, what can I do to tighten up my my part? What can I do? And he said, get closer to my people. He said, get closer to the brothers. Don't let so much space be between. And I don't think he was talking about miles or, or necessarily. That could be some of it. But I think it was, uh, uh, we don't appreciate one another tonight. Amen. Uh, Amen. You know, and I'm not come down here to nothing, nothing condemning what I'm saying. I'm saying what the Lord stirred, stirred you me. You say it. You say and, it. Uh, so I started trying to do that. I started visiting <coughs> and uh, moving closer to other brethren. And I wanted to come down here. We planned this trip, uh, although there was other things going on, but it worked out where we could do what we wanted to do and felt to do. And I think that uh, the body of Christ needs to pull together. Amen. Uh, Amen. The, it, it says in that scripture, and I'm putting in my words, I'm not trying to quote or preach to you so much, but I believe it says that, that we are to supply one another <laughs> with something, aren't we? Yes. yes. We are to supply one another with something. Yes, we are. Uh, yes. Strength, yes. let's say, strength, yes. let's say, hope. Let's yes. say yes. encouragement. Yes. Let's say counsel. Let's yes. say uh, uh, just get closer to one another. Yes. Yes. Uh, and, and then oh. the next thing that uh, came to my mind was uh, we say we believe the Word of God. Yes. We say that we want to be obedient people yes. to what God wants us to do. Yes. But I'm afraid that many times we turn deaf ears to to what God is doing, and what He's saying, and what the preacher said. Uh, didn't it say in the book of Romans uh, well, that, that you had to have a preacher? Yes. Didn't it say that we needed a preacher? Didn't it say that by the foolishness of preaching that we would be saved? And so uh, I'm, I'm afraid that preachers even from, uh, fail to listen to preachers. Amen. I, I think we fail to listen to what we even preach in ourselves sometimes. Amen. We tell the people of God, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Everybody praise the Lord. Amen. And then we sit around with our hands down. And, oh, oh, oh. We sit around with, we praying to lift our voice. Except when we're behind the pulpit, we'll lift our voice. Then we can't seem to get praise God out anymore. thinking of the scripture it said that God inhabits the praise of his people. And we all say we want the presence of God. Yes, man. But we don't praise him. But we don't praise him. Oh, we don't invite him. Oh, we don't God. say come in Lord. Come on. Because he said he inhabits the praise of his people. Come on. Amen. What would you do brother Matthew if somebody knocking on your door and you kept saying come in but the door's locked. Yes. Right. Or you yes. want to open, turn the knob. Yes. Yes, open the door. I want to open my door. Amen. Yes. Yes. Open, open my heart. Amen. Right. Amen. Open. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, I want you to pity me for a minute. I want you to feel sorry for me for a minute. For a reason. Go off somewhere and stay 10 years by yourself. All right. Oh, you'll have help. You'll have people come and go. You'll have help. Thank God for that. Yes. 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 When you see 
when you see things slide away from you. Come on, yeah. And you struggle. Come on. Yeah. And people, I love you. Yeah. I love you. I appreciate you. I need God and all the things that they'll say, but they won't come to church. Yeah, come, come on, on. Yeah, but, they come on brother. Yeah, but they need God. Yeah, come on, brother. I love God. I love Jesus. Yeah. I appreciate what God's done for me. Yeah. But they don't act like it, do they? All right, come on, brother. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. Come on, I don't mean to be hard and mean here. I'm preaching. Well, I'm telling you what's in my heart. It's time I started. And you started. We started. Appreciating God. Yeah. Yeah. Say, God loved us so much that He sent His own Son. Right. Jesus, I appreciate what you did. I appreciate your suffering. I appreciate what you did on the cross. Uh, but don't ask me to raise my hand. Come on, bro. Don't ask me to go anywhere. Don't ask me to do anything. I'm busy. I've got things to take care of. I'm tired. i got a headache. I feel bad. Freak it. Freak it. Or you say to people, and I had somebody say this to me just about two weeks ago. I said, I'd like to see everybody praising the Lord. I'd like to see everybody. And then someone came to me after service and said, well, you know, I'm always quiet. I kind of just sit there and listen. I just, uh, you know, I just kind of sit there. It's just not in me to do that. And I think, my God, aren't we supposed to be changing? All right. Yeah. 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 But he said, well, it's just not in my nature to lift my hand. Not in my nature to praise the Lord. Aren't you supposed to be getting rid of your nature? Aren't you supposed to be taking on the nature of Christ? Aren't you supposed to be acting like Him? Listen, I was thinking about Brother Marlowe. 
I was 26 years old when I met you. Were you 26? 26 Please. years old. Yeah. My God, my God, my God. <laughs> I'm sorry. 26 years old. You were 26 years old. Yes. Skinny. <laughs> could jump. Could run. Don't jump anymore. Can't run anymore. Had a red coat. Oh, had a white coat. And a red shirt. My evangelistic suit. A white leisure suit with a red shirt. Red like Melody Time. I wanted people to know when I came to their church, I was their own business. Nineteen sixty-nine. It'll be next month. Will be forty-eight years ago. I stood up in a church in a shouting Baptist church. Stood up in a shouting Baptist church. They'd shout till they fell in the floor. They don't do that anymore. No, they don't. Most of Pentecost. And I stood up in that church and said, "God is calling me to preach His gospel." Forty-eight years ago, Amen. I wasn't afraid of nothing then. Amen. I didn't think. <laughs> I've slowed down a lot. But you know, come on, brother Harris. I was reading about Abraham and Sarah a few days ago. Oh, Amen. Wow. Yes. And he was what, ninety-nine or a hundred years old? Ninety-nine years old. <laughs> and she was about nine. nine Come on, man. Come yeah. on, man, brother. That's it. <laughs> and had a child. That's right. My God, I didn't know I had to raise a child. Man. <laughs> but I'm glad. I'm glad he did. Yeah, amen. I'm glad he did. Yeah. Yeah. Some of us need to step up. Yeah. Amen, brother. Ooh, yes. Now, I had two or three people say, Brother Harris, you going to preach to us tonight? So I'm sorry, this is just all I got. This is what I got to say. Amen. Amen. Good enough. Good enough. Good. Preach on. Do you want eternal life? Amen. Come on, brother. Come on. Do you want to, you want to hear him say, well done? Come on, brother. Are you willing to do what Paul did? He said, I fought a good fight. And I kept the faith. And henceforth is laid up for me a crown of righteousness which the Lord, the righteous judge. You want to hear that, brother? I hope you to start acting like it. <laughs> okay, okay. Brother John, I'll listen to you. And I, I want to do it. Amen. I want you to help me. Amen. Yes. Yes. Brother Rose reminded me of something a while ago when I sat down by him up there. He said, you told me you was going to break. What did I say? How did I say it? You told me you was going to teach me a lesson. <laughs> <laughs> that was when we were real young. <laughs> and he decided to take me on. Yes. And he looked up at me from the ground. Yes. Amen. I couldn't do that anymore. Amen. I loved you so much one time. And then I ain't able. I am not able, excuse me. But we say we want to be saved. We say we want to obey the Lord. We say we want to. But we have a hard time getting close to one another. Oh, yep. God. Yep. Come on, brother. Get, we have a hard time. We have a hard time getting close to God. Yes. Amen. Yes. We really do, brother. Yes. Man. Yes. 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 And the reason we have a hard time, or I'm going to say, me, the reason I have a hard time getting close to God any time is because I have a little guilt or something hanging over. Yes. Me. All right. Oh, yes. I have something in the road blocking me. Uh -huh. You know, uh, somebody said the only thing good about the past that it's in the past. Yeah. We need to move on. Yeah. We need to move up to the more. I told you a while ago. Yeah. We need to move up and move yeah. on. We can't live in the past and we can't live in the other yeah. year. Right. That old day, we need to live in the presence yeah. of God today. Yeah. We need to yeah. let Him inhabit our life yeah. and we need to get close to Him yeah. and yeah. love Him and serve Him yeah. and, yeah. and do His will yeah. in our life yeah. and reach out yeah. one to yeah. another. Yeah. 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 
Amen. And I know this ain't popular everywhere you go. And I'd like to move closer. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, Lord, yes. Praise God. Close. Close. We've really got to make some changes. Yes, we have. Uh -huh. We've really got to let some things go. Yes, right. Amen. Amen. We've really Amen. got to reach out and take a hold oh, yes. of the present day. The present day. When Jesus uh, was in the wilderness and he said back to the Satan or the devil, he said, we're to live by every word that right. proceeded out of the mouth of God. Right. And a few years ago, there was a man <laughs> came here and preached, I believe, about the words that proceed out of the mouth of God. Yes, he did. And I never forgot that. Yes, he did. God is speaking. God is moving. Yep. We're not in the silence, are we, Brother Marlon? The 30 minutes of silence. We are not there. There's still communication going right. on between earth and heaven. Amen. And we can listen and hear from Amen. God and get help. Amen. 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 First of all, healing in our hearts and minds, Amen. healing in our spirits, Amen. and then we can get healings in our bodies. All right. All right. We can get help we need from God. Right place. Come on, Amen. I want to try to get there. That's one reason I'm down here. Amen. Because I'm talking right now, but I expect to listen. To Amen. Yes. Yeah. Amen. I expect to hear something. I expect to hear something. <coughs> yes, and I believe that I can take back with me. I believe. Amen. I believe. Thank you, we, need we need to change. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Help us, God. Good Lord. Help us, God. God's given us the equipment. Yes, Amen. He's got the Holy Ghost. Oh, praise God. Amen. 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 spoke in tongues in the last week. Amen. I didn't even say day. I spoke in tongues in the last week. Yes, sir. Amen. See, that's a, that, that Holy Ghost He gave us is supposed to give us power yes. and authority yes. and ability. Amen. Carry out His will. Amen. 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 Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. It's supposed to be a little old weak fountain. No, sir. No. Just there no. spurts up. No. 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 He said it would be like a river. River. Oh, no. 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 Where I come from, we call them streams and creeks if they're not a river. Amen. And the church has got streams in them and little small creeks. And Amen. Maybe a few, uh, what do they call it when you water something from dig a ditch up? Irrigation. Irrigation. They got a little bit of irrigation ditches dug out in the church. And it gets a little bit wet. And the poor old saints of God have to be like a plant with its roots. Suck as hard as it can to get a little moisture out. All right, come on. Come on but come God on. said that the Holy Ghost be a river inside. Yes. 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 Spring it up. Yes. Yes. In everlasting life. Yes. I feel that river, brother. Remember the first time I came here. Yeah. And I remember what the Lord gave us. Yeah what he did for us. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I've never, honestly, never lost a value of that. Amen. In fact, it's got worth more. Amen. Oh, it's got worth more. Amen. It's kind of like gold. Amen. It gets better Amen. as Amen. the market just keeps going up. Going oh, up. yes. Going up. Going up. We should get value. So, going up. Tonight, I'm glad to be here. Amen. Amen. I'm glad to be here with you. Oh, thank God for the message. I'm glad to be here. My granddaughter graduated Friday night from high school. Yeah. She's going and got a job. Amen. Wow. Hallelujah. Amen. My son needs a miracle. Yes, he does. He's already had some. Yeah. He's going to get another one. He's going to get it. <laughs> 
I wish somebody could sing. God's been so good to me. Amen. And I wish we had all participated. Yep. Yeah. God so has been so good to me. Brother Rose, that song I know you <coughs> sang it. And I, I know Sister Linda's mother sang it, and I always loved that song. And, it's, and a part of it starts out like this. <coughs> Sometimes the clouds hang low. And I'd like to see them go. Did you really? I'd like to see the clouds go away. And the S O N shine through. Amen. 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 All right. So, Amen. Come on, brother. I'm excited to be here. Sing it God. now. You want to preach a little? Sing no, it. you can sing it. I'm about to preach now. Sing it. Glory. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Thank God. Oh, I doubt it. They <laughs> <laughs> can help. I don't care. <laughs> sing it. Hey, aren't you glad to see Brother Harris today? Yeah. What that was all about, I was just a very, very young man. He just came to the church here. And how young men are, Brother David, you know how young men are. Well, he was a new, he was a new bull in the pasture, you know. And so I kept telling him, I said, you keep messing with the bull, you're going to get the horns. Uh -huh. Well, we just back and forth, but we were just playing. But I had on a brand new sweater. Now, he said I got it from Goodwill, but I didn't. It cost me some money to get it. It was a nice one. And I told him I still hold a little bit against him for putting the grass stains all over that new sweater. But tonight, I let it go. It's gone. Amen. Amen. How many's ever let something go? Amen. You know what I thought tonight, and I, I'm going to sing, but you know, we, we've said for years, um, and I've told Brother Don this, and, you know, the Bible said, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. You know, I never looked at it like this tonight, but I told Brother Don, I said, you know, the, you know there are things that I never wanted to give God thanks for. But I think I'm adding more, Brother Matthew, to that list all the time. Amen. And I think the more you serve the Lord, the longer you serve Him, the richer He becomes. Yes, right. uh, and the mightier He is in our lives. Yes, amen. And the things that you could not, Brother Harris, overcome, you just find yourself Coming over. Come on. 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 And are you noticed the sons are coming home? Yeah. Are you noticed that preachers are filling this platform? Yeah. And this is just the beginning. They're going to come from all over America. Yeah. Thank you, Father. Because even preachers have been mishandled by men. Yeah. Even preachers have been mishandled. Yeah. I, I've been around a while, too. But I'm telling you, God is getting ready not only to shake the heavens, but the Bible said He'll shake the earth. God's getting ready to move in a, in a marvelous, mighty, stupendous way. And if we're blessed, God will be part of that. Because God is so good tonight. Would you help me sing it tonight, praise team? How much money do you need to help? <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, I 
Are you ready? Do you have your Bibles? Sometimes the clouds hang low And I'd like to see them go I ask the question
years ago, retired from there. Now I want to retire with God. <laughs> but uh, God is good. He is so good. I, I love the Lord. And uh, I was getting ready for church tonight, and my husband said, are you going to church tonight? I said, yes, I am. Yes, you are. And he said, I'm sick. But I'm not sick. <laughs> and I really was sick. He went to the doctor and everything. But I couldn't have helped him if I had stayed home. If I would have, wouldn't have done nothing for him. But God has been so, so good to me. He really has. I don't know. I, I love the Lord. Yes. You know, he's kind of got me shook up. It's been a good couple weeks. And he's kind of got me going a little more so than what I was before. But it's good to see you back home. I remember seeing you in 1981 when I first came here. Yes, you did. And uh, yes. my kids were young. Your kids were young. Now they're grown. And uh, I wouldn't trade my daughter for a, a million Amen. And I know you wouldn't trade yours. Amen. But God has been good to me. He gave me a good daughter. Thank you. Gave me good friends. Yes. He's been good to you. Amen. He really has. Amen. I know he's probably tired. Of, he may be tired of hearing me, but no. No. I haven't been up for a while, but I did want to say, stand up and just tell the Lord how much He means to me. Yes. Amen. 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 I love the Lord too and uh, I had several things come up this past few days that I've had to deal with you know it's, uh, things just come against you so fast and you, uh, sometimes you don't know what to do but this is one of my favorite, one of my very favorite scriptures, and it always comes back to me at those times when I don't know what I'm doing or where I'm going or what's happening. And it's Matthew 6, 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God. See, that's the first thing that I ought to do. That's the, that's the main thing I ought to do is just to seek his righteousness, his kingdom. And look at what it says. And all these things will be added unto you. All these things will get all right. They'll be taken care of. Everything is going to work out just fine. Because he's in charge. He's in control. And tonight I was coming with my heart heavy and thinking about all these things. And we started singing, I feel Jesus. Oh, I feel Jesus. And you know, God loves me very much or he wouldn't have brought me here. He would have never put me in this place. He would have never given me his spirit. He would have never showed me these precious scriptures that can help me so much in every phase of life, in every condition. He would have never done that for me if he didn't love me. And that's something that's so special, so precious. We're all so privileged. We're all so blessed. And I just pray for Sister Marlo and everyone that's sick and everyone that's going through trials. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And it'll be all right. Amen. It'll be all 
be all right.
promise. It is coming. I see a day when we are going to be so knitted together. We are not going to leave this place. Amen. God has been so good. Amen. He's been so good. I cannot tell it all. I'm telling you. God has done so much. So much. I appreciate him. I love him. I appreciate everything that God has done and doing. Yes. He is going to. Don't give up, son. He is going to work it out. You don't know how God has done it. Amen. Amen. He is going to work it out. Trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. And do good. And you'll see these things come to pass. Amen. 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 Hadn't the Lord been with us tonight? Hallelujah. From the beginning, from pastor all the way to this prophetess prophesying to don't, don't give up, exhorting us to not give up. Isn't the Lord been, hasn't the Lord been with us? It's just been totally amazing. And uh, God has been so good to us, Brother Harris. He surely has. And if you didn't come down here for anybody, you come to preach to me tonight. And I want to say thank you for what you said. Uh, God has been great. I was thinking today, and we're going to close and we're going to go home. But, uh. Um, probably, maybe, I don't know, less, right out a year ago, coming up a year ago, I, uh, um, I was doing some yard work at this new house I was moving into, and something got in my eye, and some of you remember that I went several weeks or several months without even, but something got in my eye, I went to the doctor, he says he plucked it out, he says he got it, it got worse, I went back, he said, look, we're within hours of losing your cornea, we're going to have to do something. So we begin to pray and the church begin to pray. And, but for two and a half months, when you lay without sight and you can't see and your sister Durrett knows she's been there and some of you others. But I was just thinking, as Brother Harris was talking, God, you have been so good to me because I could be here tonight with with one eye not being able to see but you healed me right out a year ago and allowed me to look across this sanctuary and be here tonight because you are so good to me now you too can probably reflect on something that god has done for you how he's healed you how he blessed you what he needs you to do and the most prominent thing you said tonight stick with me forever. If you want a natural healing, you've got to have a spiritual healing before you can receive a natural healing. I want to go to work, Brother Harris. Immediately go to work to get something in, right inside me. Aren't you excited about what the man of God preached here tonight? Amen. Let's just ask the Lord, hey, to help us. And you can get on your feet. We're going to go home and we're going to ask the Lord, but right here, Saturday night, make sure you call everybody. Make sure you tell everybody. Send it out on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, all of those things that you have. Twitter, I don't care. Tweet it. Uh, send it out to right here, Saturday night. We'll have the text message, email, phone call, however you need to do it. We'll have the Dean family right here, Saturday night, singing with us. Right here, sing it to us Saturday night right here. The anointed, they, they say they're anointed, they're Holy Ghost filled. People will travel hours and hours and hours to see a concert across the bridge. So we'll come right here and see the Holy Ghost right here on Saturday night. So they're from Kentucky, you can't go wrong from Kentucky. So Brother Gillis, we just, uh, we just appreciate y'all being here tonight and we thank you for being with us. And, Sorry you didn't get to say anything, but maybe you'll stick around for the weekend and can preach over the weekend and um, or stick around a month. We don't care. It's all good. So, But we just ask the Lord to go with us. And don't forget Port Charlotte tomorrow night. Go down and help my dad and, uh, and help mom and all of them. And then, of course, uh, the rest of the activities for the week. And then the funeral for years. Is it Sebring on the Sebring? Oh, Sarasota. 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 Hopewell Cemetery, Hope Cemetery on Peter's <clears throat> Road. One o'clock. Let's uh, pray for Brother Wallace and their family, and, and uh, we'll be praying with Brother Wallace and the rest of the family. And uh, those traveling to come down here, I'm sure they might even here or on their way here. So let's pray for that. And then, of course, all of these needs. So let's just ask the Lord. Father, we thank you for this night. We appreciate you, Lord. We love you for all that you've done. The message that you brought to us tonight, not only from our pastor, Lord, but from the man of God. Thank you for that message that was delivered tonight, Lord, and the songs and the singing. You're so good to us, Lord. Watch over us. 
Bring us back here Saturday night in one mind and one accord. And in your presence and in your praise. And everybody said, Amen, Amen. God bless you. Have a good night. Hallelujah.